Boots Owen here. Another bit of home maintenance for you. This uh, overflow pipe here has been dripping. Drip onto the ground and it runs out so you can see that something's wrong inside. Another bit of epoxy home maintenance for you. So I'm up in the loft and there's a ball valve and you can see it's all pretty grimy. I've turned off the water so if I push down on the valve water it won't come in. So that's a good sign that it's off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew from the outside here this nut here and then I'll get the plastic flange off and I'm going to replace it with a brand new one and hopefully it'll all just go together perfectly. There we go, it's come loose pretty handy. So the hope is that there will be an olive in here, it would be hard to imagine there wouldn't. And it's just a matter of swapping it out. Then we've got to get this white one off, which will take a bigger spanner. So there's the old one, and I'll just swap in the new one. And I'm going to have to swap over the ball valve float as well, because I didn't get a new one with it. So there's the new one in situ, and I've got it screwed, screwed up tight, and I just have to reconnect this one here, and then that should be, that should be me. So I've tightened that nut back up again, and... I'll turn the water back on and take a look. So I've got the new one back on and with the water level as it is, it seems to be holding fast. So I'll get the toilet flushed and uh, see if it works. So the toilet's flushed, but it's still, the water's still way above because the old one wasn't working that well. But if I push down on it, it works. And if I let it up, it stops and it'll stop dripping after a fashion there. There you go, thanks for watching, see you later. So there's the jet. There's the little washer. It's pretty okay, you know. The rubber in that's not too bad. And I'm wondering why it was getting um getting stuck or what was going on, but I'm guessing it's not a big deal. It cost six euros to replace the whole thing rather than just replacing the washer. So I'm kinda glad I've done it and that's that done. But it's probably easier to swap out the whole arm than it is just to take that off and replace the washer. One way or the other. Thanks for watching. See you later.